Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Blaze and the Monster Machines, A Monster Machine Christmas, adapted by Frank Berrios, based on the teleplay Blaze Christmas by Jeff Borkin, and illustrated by Dynamo Limited. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. "'Twas the night before Christmas and all through Axel City, big-wheeled monster machines were making their homes look pretty. Stripes put a wreath on his treehouse and Starlet decorated her barn. Zig got ready for Christmas with ornaments, tinsel, and yarn. Darrington was so excited he jumped to his highest height. Everyone knew they'd be getting a visit from Santa tonight. Meanwhile, Blaze and AJ were far, far away, helping Santa get ready for another Christmas day. Blaze raced around the workshop as elf trucks tossed presents into Santa's magic bag. Santa's bag can hold presents for everyone in the world, said AJ. My elves and I make sure we've got the perfect present for every boy and girl, said Santa. Everyone should feel special on Christmas. The present meter says the bag is full, exclaimed Blaze. Ho, 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 now I've got Christmas presents for everyone, chuckled Santa Claus. Santa and his friends were so busy that no one noticed two uninvited guests. Hey, Crusher, what are you doing in Santa's workshop? asked Pickle. I want to look in Santa's bag and find my Christmas present, whispered Crusher. But before he could find his present, the bag began to roll away with Crusher on top of it. Oh no, the Christmas presents are getting away, yelled an elf truck. Quick, after them, said Blaze. He, AJ, and Santa raced after Crusher and the presents. The bag rolled down a hill. It spilled open and presents soared through the air in every direction. My magic bag is empty. Now I can't deliver my presents to anyone, Santa said sadly. Don't worry, Santa, said AJ. Those presents are out there somewhere. And AJ and I are going to find them, added Blaze. Wait, I want to come too, begged Crusher. Good for you, Crusher. You feel bad, and now you want to help get all the presents back, said Pickle. All the presents? No way. I just want to get my present back, replied Crusher. Remember, Crusher, it's important that you help Blaze find everyone's present, said Santa. Everyone should feel special on Christmas. Blaze and Crusher raced off. Before long, they arrived at some ice crystal caves. Hey, look up there, said AJ. A whole bunch of presents are frozen in the ice. Crusher tried to use a suction cup, bow and arrow to get the presents, but his toy arrow couldn't fly far enough to grab them. Then Blaze had an idea. Let's be engineers and build a better bow and arrow, he said. Engineers are scientists who figure out how to build new things. Blaze and AJ worked together to make a giant bendy bow and an arrow with a big suction cup to attach to the presents. I'm a super bow and arrow monster machine, exclaimed Blaze. Now, let's test our bow and arrow to see if it can grab those presents, said AJ. Blaze aimed, hit the mark, and pulled the presents free from the ice. Crusher checked, but none of the presents were his. The trio kept searching. Soon, they spotted a pile of presents at the bottom of a very steep hill covered in candy canes. We have to make a sled that goes really fast, said AJ. Let's build this sled with a turbojet engine. Woohoo! I'm a turbo sled monster machine, said Blaze. He took off with a burst down the candy cane cliff and used his tow hook to snag the presents. Blaze added them to Santa's bag. Look, 
The red line on Santa's bag is going up, noticed AJ. That means we found almost all the Christmas presents. Crusher peered into the bag. All these presents and none of them are for me, he whined. The group continued. They came to Snowball Mountain, which was shooting giant snowballs. To stop the snowballs, Blaze transformed into a big water blaster. Oh yeah, I'm a water blasting monster machine, he shouted. Time to get those Christmas presents. When the monster machines reached the top of the mountain, Crusher found what he was looking for. I got my present, he sang. But while the big blue truck celebrated, the ice on the mountaintop began to give way. Oh no, Santa's bag is falling, cried AJ. It's too heavy, said Blaze. I can't pull it up by myself. Well, good luck with that, Crusher said. I've already got my present. The present made him feel special. But then Crusher remembered what Santa had said. Everyone should feel special on Christmas. If those presents fall, no one will get a present from Santa, and then no one will feel special on Christmas. I've got to save those presents. Crusher went back to Blaze. Using their tow hooks, Blaze and Crusher worked together to save the Christmas presents. Then Santa appeared. Look, Santa, we got all the presents, said Crusher. That's wonderful, Santa replied. Now we just need some way to deliver them before it's too late. I can do it, offered Blaze. With blazing speed, I can help you deliver the presents super fast. Ho, ho, that's it, chuckled Santa. Blaze, you can be my sleigh tonight. Blaze quickly transformed into a super sleigh. Let's deliver some Christmas presents, said Super Sleigh Blaze. AJ, Santa, and Crusher hopped aboard. With a burst of blazing speed, they took off into the night sky. Ho, 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 said Santa, and he held on tight. And so it was. With Blaze as the sleigh, Santa's gifts were delivered for Christmas Day. And as they flew out of sight, we heard a phrase, Merry Christmas to all and to all a let's blaze. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.